Today, I'm going to show you guys my three favorite compressor plugins to get that professional vocal sound. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? I'm Wiesna. As always, we are here at my studio, True Sound Studios, and today I'm gonna to show you guys my three favorite vocal compressors. Okay, so obviously vocals really mean a ton in the world of recording. You know, it's essentially what most of your listeners are gonna really focus on. So we really need to treat and process vocals with a ton of detail but also be able to control our vocal to make it sound great in the mix. So I'm gonna have you guys take a listen to this track first. Um, this is actually from a previous video on how to sidechain. But anyways, let's take a listen. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. Okay, cool. So this is the vocal that we are going to process. I'm going to show you guys these three compressors and how they're really going to help out this vocal. Okay, so the first plugin is from Waves and this is the CLA 2A. Now this compressor is amazing. It's kind of has like a slower attack, which is also really good because you're going to um, you're going to hear that it really adds some character and some warmth to our vocal. So um, first we're just gonna leave it as default and the first thing we're gonna start playing around with is this peak reduction knob. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. Okay, so now we got the compressor to do something you can hear, it's just way too much. So we're gonna actually change this high frequency knob here to about somewhere right around halfway. Let's take a listen to what this is. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. Okay, it's getting there. Let me solo it. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So what's great about this compressor, it only has a few knobs. It really doesn't give you too much room to kind of, you know, screw up this compressor and, you know, kind of screw up your vocal sound. So, um, you know, that to me sounds pretty good. We're getting about three decibels of reduction. Um, you can add some of this like analog noise, but I like to keep these off because, you know, in a full project mix, you know, we got too many things going on and too many plugins that add analog noise. We don't need that, so we keep it off. Um, so let's take a listen to this. We'll solo it once again and I'll, I'll take the compressor on and then take it off. We gotta go, go, go in the city. 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 So as you can hear, it started to warm up that vocal a little bit, uh, meaning you know it started to process those high frequencies better. Um, as you notice, I did boost the gain a little bit to try to match these out so they didn't sound so different in volume levels. So now we're gonna go to vocal compressor number two. So this is yet another Waves product, and this is the R compressor. Now I really like this compressor because um, you do have the option of being able to change the attack, release, ratio, threshold, kind of like some of your normal things that you can adjust on a compressor. And this one is really great, at least in my opinion, at controlling some of those like peaks. Pretty much the things that when a vocalist is singing and they sing really hard on the beginning of words like, come to the park and then we go. And it's just really good at controlling some of those initial attacks. So um, for this, I'm actually gonna take the attack and bring it all the way to the left. The release, we're gonna leave somewhere right around here for right now. Uh, the ratio, somewhere around three to one, so right around there should be good. And now we're gonna start playing around with this threshold. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. Okay, so now let's listen to it in the track because as much as it's great how it sounds when it's soloed, it really it really matters on how it sounds in the track. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. 
you can hear, it was probably compressed a little bit too much, and I actually had to make up some gain. Now, you could also make up the gain right here on the compressor, but I just chose to turn up the master volume on the vocal. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So I think that sounds pretty good. Um, it's really controlling that vocal. So now let me take on and off this compressor and we'll also solo it. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So maybe it could use just a little bit less on the ratio here. Maybe we'll take it a little closer to two to one. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So as you can hear, we are really starting to warm this vocal up. Um, it is starting to crush a little bit of, you know, the brightness on the vocal, but we can always make up for that with EQ because it's really important to control this vocal and make it to sound really good. Then we can fix it with EQ at another point. So one more time, let's listen to it now back in the track. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So it's starting to sound really good. It's really starting to sound like, you know, a nice professional vocal. Okay, so the last and final compressor that I absolutely love on vocals is once again another Waves product, and this is the Pugue Child or the Fairchild clone. So this is like an iconic compressor. Um, it was extremely, extremely expensive. And the fact that they put it in a plug-in form is really amazing because this really does help out vocals so much in my opinion. This compressor I feel like is really great at the very, very end of your vocal chain, even after all the EQ. And most of the time actually what I do is I, I process my vocal and then send it to a vocal bus and I put this puke child on my vocal bus. And it's really kind of like the glue almost that really pulls this vocal together into a track. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this analog noise. Um, I kind of like this number two setting and number three, at least for vocals. Number one is like a pretty quick attack and release, um, at least from what I remember. <laughs> Um, but number two really seems to work out pretty well for me um, as far as using it with vocals. So let's take a listen to what this sounds like. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. It's one of those compressors where it it does a lot, but sometimes you don't really even notice it. Sometimes the meters will be slammed like 10 decibels of reduction. And sometimes, sometimes I don't even notice it if I don't actually go check. So it's, it's, it's fairly transparent if you want it to be. Um, so let's solo this vocal and let's play around with this a little bit more. We gotta go, go, go in the city. Now I'm gonna change this time constant to one. We gotta go, go, go in the city. I feel like I can hear that a little bit more if I put on the one. So I kind of still like that two. Let's listen to this one. This is on number three now. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So I feel like that doesn't do enough. That's why I really like this number two time constant. We gotta go, go, go in the city. It's just so smooth. So now let me take it off and let's listen to it without the puke child on there. We gotta go, go, go in the city. And one more time with it back on. We gotta go, go, go in the city. Maybe we'll bring this down a little bit. We gotta go, go, go in the city. So let's take a listen to it one more time in the track. We gotta go, go, go in the city. We gotta go, go, go in the city. 
So there you go. Let's uh, let me take off all of these compressors now and let's listen to it with all the compressors off and then we'll put all of them back on. We got to go 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 in the city. We got to go 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 in the city. So there you go. I mean, those are my three favorite vocal compressors. Um, I really feel like these three compressors together, you know, with some more tweaking really can make a vocal sound great. Now, obviously I'm mixing these right now through headphones, which for me is never what I do. I always mix through my speakers. So it is tough to hear the, you know, some of the little bit of details that go on. Um, so please don't judge, you know, this on exactly what I do when I mix somebody else's project because I do not use headphones. So there you go. These are my three favorite vocal compressors. We have the Waves CLA-2A, the Waves R compressor, and the Waves Puke Child. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you guys out. So if you guys like this video, consider subscribing and hit that like button. Follow us on Instagram for daily posts. You can find the beats that I make right here at the studio on our SoundCloud page. True Sound Studios also mixes and masters your tracks. So once again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm Wiesna, we're at True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears. <laughs>